keeps us warm. We can spend the night. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all well. So today I am back with another Zara haul. Before we get started, I just want to point out how cute my flowers are. I came home yesterday from getting my nails done. Excuse the fake tan hands, but I love these. I'll um tag the girl who does my nails in the description but yeah i came home for my nails done yesterday and he bought me those which is just so sweet and they are so christmasy i don't know if you can tell but they've got like i keep calling them pine cones they're acorns they've got some like gold sparkly bits in them i just thought they were very festive so i put them there but anyway back to the haul i've got a real variety of things there's no real theme to this haul i've got loungewear i've got a bit of leather or faux leather i've got body suits i've got hats i've got a jacket I've got stuff from the kids section you guys know i love picking up bits in the kids section if you're a petite girl definitely check it out but yeah i'm going to jump straight in and show you guys what i picked up do you know what i think i'm going to start with the kids section stuff because i always do that bit last i don't know why but i'm going to mix it up today i'm going to start with that stuff first so i think in my last hour haul i showed you guys a white kind of fluffy turtleneck jumper from the kids section and i actually did go back like i said and i picked it up in black Black. This one is much more of like a shiny kind of faux fur kind of material but this is honestly equally as soft, equally as cosy and I literally love these jumpers. I wish they did them in other colours. They got this one, the white one and they've got it in mustard but mustard just really is not my colour so I'm kind of hoping they'll bring out some more. I don't know what colours I would want this in but oh, I honestly, I live in the white one so I'm so excited to get my hands on this black one. This one was £14.99 and I got it in the size 13 to 14 years. If you didn't watch my last Thora haul and you haven't heard me bang on about it, I'd say size 13 to 14. It's kind of like an 8 to 10, depends what you get, but definitely an 8. And then the 11 to 12 is kind of like a size 6, that's the reference I kind of go with. Okay, you guys seriously need to get your hands on one of these jumpers. These are seriously fuzzy and cozy i love them and i just think you could so easily throw them on with so many things like i've got these paired with my ripped skinny jeans but i feel like these with like leather shorts leather skirt any kind of skirt leather trousers would just look so good i honestly i'm obsessed with these jumpers i just love like the texture of these i think they make a basic kind of boring turtleneck look really cool and they just make it a little bit more interesting. But yeah, absolutely love these. Kind of dreaming that they bring out some more colours other than the mustard. Because um, I am going to be living in this one. Now that I've got this one and the white one, I'm set. If you guys wanted a close-up of the texture, this is what it looks like. It looks a bit like crushed velvet on camera. It's not. It's like a faux kind of fur texture. Similar to the coat as well. Um, and yeah, I just love this. So also from the kids section, I picked up this jacket. This is, again, a kind of like bow fur kind of material. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Um, and I just got it in this really nice grey and black leopard print. I love a jacket, but I feel like everybody has them. So I thought I'd go something a little bit different. I'm a sucker for leopard print. So this just screamed out to me. But yeah, I just thought this was maybe like a black bodycon dress. Maybe some leather trousers would just be such a cool look. And this was only... £29.99, so £30 for a jacket. I think that's really well priced. This is what the jacket looks like on. I've just paired it with these ripped jeans and my black bodysuit. This is obviously also another classic. I actually really love this. I think this is so cool. It's a nice change, like the classic jacket that you're seeing at the moment. Fits really nice. It's a really good oversized fit. And I really think this with some leather, like black leather trousers would look so good. Actually, do you know what? Black faux leather trousers, a big black oversized hoodie would be so cool with this. I'm actually so excited to style this. I'll give you guys a closer look at the pattern and like the texture of the fabric. I just think it's so nice. It's really different. I don't think I've seen a jacket like this before. So yeah, I absolutely love this. So next up, I have a couple of basics, but would it be a Zara haul without a couple of Zara holds neck bodysuits? I think not. I have literally got these in every single colour. So when I saw they had a couple of new colours, of course I had to pick them up. So the first one I got is this really nice kind of purple, deep lilac kind of, I think like lavender colour. Um, and I just absolutely love this colour, I think it's so pretty. Okay, so I know the red lip really does not go, so we're just going to have to try it and ignore that, but this is what the bodysuit looks like on. I just really love the colour of this, I think this is just like really different, I don't own anything in this colour. So yeah, I just think it's really cute, like I said, something different. And then I also picked it up in this lovely wine red colour, I'm obsessed with this colour at this time of year, so I just had to get this one. I got both of those in a size small and they are £12.99. This is what the bodysuit looks like on, I've just paired it with those 
cream wide leg trousers i really actually like this as an outfit together i feel like this is such a cool little outfit for turning around the house i think it'd be a good like if you have enough of a movie night or a chilled night in on christmas eve i thought it'd be a really cute outfit for that but yeah i'm honestly just obsessed with this color this is honestly like my favorite color for this time of year i do also feel like this with some faux leather trousers would look really nice or maybe even with some denim I think would look really good as well. I feel like this with like that kind of darker like wine red lip would look really nice. It's definitely one of those tops that you can just wear with so many different things like for all occasions. And yeah I just love it. Like I said this is one of my favourite colours this time of year so I feel like I'm definitely going to get a lot of wear out of this. I've been loving like the chocolate trend at the moment. I've got a top, I've got a dress and I just thought why not add a pair of faux leather trousers to the collection. These were, oh my god these were only 19 99 that is such a steal. And I got them in a size extra small what I like about these ones is that they actually look like jeans like they've got is this a real pocket oh uh, no okay so they've got like the fake pocket look they've got the same on the back they've got a button and a zip and I just think these are a lot more flattering than the legging style ones I feel like I could probably wear these with a lot more because they look like actual trousers as opposed to leggings the inside of these are so soft it's like the faux leather dress and jacket that I showed you guys in my last haul so really warm and cozy so this is what the trousers look like on I'm not too sure how well the colors coming up on camera but I love these I just think they're a little bit different from the classic black faux leather trouser in terms of like length these fit me perfectly like I said I'm five foot three and a half and they do come just at the bottom of my ankle so if you're a taller girl I don't know how these would fit on you but I absolutely love them they really kind of cinch you in at the waist and yeah I just think they're so flattering and yeah I really love these I've literally got nothing bad to say okay so moving on to loungewear I actually picked these up in a couple of colours but I'll show you the grey ones first I just picked up these wide leg lounge trousers these are honestly so soft everything in my hauls recently has just been soft and cosy and honestly I'm living for it this was only Again, 19.99 and I picked these up in a size small. So this is what the trousers look like on. These are so flattering, honestly, are so comfortable as well. I know you guys can't really see, but they've got a really nice wide leg. They do just touch the floor for me, so I'm five foot three and a half. So I feel like with shoes on, they'd be okay. But anybody told me you'll be fine. But yeah, I do definitely feel like I could wear this kind of like in the house, lounging around, or if I had to quickly pop out run some errands, pop to the shops. I feel like this is really versatile. I feel like this would make me feel like when I work from home, I've got dressed, I look nice, but I'm still really comfy. That's one thing I'm really struggling with at the moment working from home is like, I want to be comfortable, but I don't want to sit in like my PJs or like loungewear PJs all day because I just feel really slobby, but I feel like I could wear these, feel like I've got dressed, made an effort, but still be nice and comfy. And then because I like to look at them so much in the gray, I also picked them up in this really nice kind of stone, beige kind of colour again super soft and cosy and I'm so excited to wear these these again were $19.99 but I also picked these ones up in a size small these paired with like this bodysuit that would make such a cute little outfit for like Christmas Eve if you're having a chilled one at home watching movies having a couple of drinks maybe a Bailey's or a mulled wine and then before I try these on and show you what these look like I also picked up the top to go with them so it's just this turtleneck sleeveless Again, same really cosy soft material. This one was $15.99 and again, picked this one up in a small as well. I just thought this would be such a cute little set. Maybe if you're having like a little date night at home as well and you want to look cute and put together but still really comfy, I feel like that would be a really cute outfit as well. Okay, you guys, I've got a lot to say about this outfit. I'm going to start off by saying these trousers, they are the exact same size, the exact same style, just a different colour from the grey ones but they are ever so slightly shorter. I don't know what that is about, whether they've just like a one-off cut them slightly differently or what, but these ones definitely are a better length for me, only just slightly shorter, but that really has made a difference. I do feel like I could walk around the house. Not that we have a messy or muddy floor or anything, but I feel like I wouldn't have to worry about getting these or anything like dirty if I don't have any shoes on. I feel like these fit me really well in terms of length. So yeah, obviously I'm five, three and a half. So if you are a taller girl, I do kind of think maybe these would be a little bit like ankle swingers for you because these are kind of like the perfect length for me. And if you're like 5'8", five, 5'9", five, I feel like maybe this would be slightly too short for you. These are the kind of like flattering trousers that look like they fit you really tightly, but like I can't even really feel like I'm wearing them. So yeah, these are going to be perfect for working from home. Just like a nice chilled outfit if I want to look cute for a little movie night. These would be perfect. And then obviously I've got on the matching top as well, which is also super cosy, super comfortable. The only thing I will say is that this neck does feel quite like rigid, like I'm very aware of the neck. Um, it does feel, it's, it's a very like 
hard fabric and it's really not the one it's just very structured so i feel like when i move my head around i can really feel it um but at the end of the day it's not a massive issue and you know what i feel like this is a really classy set i feel like i could go out maybe with some big sunglasses as well and i just look really put together even though i'm literally in loungewear and i absolutely love that and you know what i feel like this would be perfect for days that i'm working if i've got some zoom calls i just look really professional really put together but really i'm just sat there in loungewear and that is a vibe that i'm here for and then the last clothing piece that i picked up is again another really soft kind of stone beige colored knit this is actually a jumper dress and this just screams coziness to me i'm not sure if you picked up on it yet from this haul in my last haul but i'm really into turtlenecks at the moment i just love feeling warm and cozy in the winter there's nothing worse than feeling cold so yeah i'm loving these necks at the moment yeah i just thought this with like again a leather jacket maybe some knee high boots maybe even a puffer might be quite a cool look i don't know i just felt like i could wear this with so many different things so this is what the dress looks like on on camera i don't think i look too bad but in real life I do kind of feel like I need a little bit more fake down on my legs to be able to pull this off but maybe if I had some really sheer tights on that might work as well. Just because like I am quite pale and this is obviously quite like a pale colour, this is probably the colour that I am naturally like my skin tone so yeah I do feel like when I wear these kind of colours I do need to have quite a bit of fake tan on to kind of differentiate between me and the outfit. Like I just said I do think I could probably wear these with some really sheer tights, I mean it is now December I feel like it is probably the time to start wearing tights and stop wearing bare legs. Um, but yeah, I do think this would probably go with those kind of tights. Some boots would look really cute as well. This is honestly so warm. I'm kind of working up a sweat having this on with the light on and the heating on. So I feel like I could wear this out and be nice and toasty. I feel like this could go with so many different types of jackets. You could wear it for a casual occasion. Even actually this would be a good dress for Christmas day. If you don't want to dress up but you still want to look nice and put a dress on. I feel like this would be a really good in between. And as much as I love like a fitted bodycon dress, whether it's a dressed up one or like a more casual one, I do love these loose kind of baggy dresses. You just feel so much more free if you've had a big meal it is coming towards Christmas you've got a little bit of a food baby going on you've eaten lots of chocolate you've not got a problem because this is just nice and loose and baggy but it's not kind of like it doesn't drown you but it's yeah it's a nice level of bagginess oversized so that is the word I hate the word baggy oversized is the word that I'm looking for so the last couple of bits that I've picked up are completely out of my comfort zone but I'm loving hats at the moment and I want to kind of join in on the hype so I picked up a couple there are two completely different styles but I'll show you this one to start with so I picked up this black corduroy are these called Baker Boy style hats? This one was £15.99. They had them in a size small and a medium. I saw these around loads last year, but I was never brave enough to get one or give it a go. But I thought I'd give it a try this year. Like, I just feel like I have such a small head. But I don't know if they just look, like, silly on me. Like, how are you supposed to wear these? <laughs> I just don't know how to, like, how to style them. And I just feel like... They look too big. Does this look too big on my head? Somebody please tell me. I feel like it does. I feel like a lot of people wear them with like, there's a hairband. I feel like a lot of people wear them with like their hair and like a low bun or a low pony. Let me give that a try. Is that better? Somebody please tell me, does this look normal or not? Does it suit me? Because I really don't know. I don't know if I just, um, just not used to wearing hats or does this look too big for my face? I think it does look too big for my face. Someone tell me, what do you think? Yeah, it's got this quilty on the inner side, so I feel like this would actually keep my head quite warm, like, instead of having to wear a beanie. Um, but yeah, let me know if it suited me or not, because I really just don't know. And then the other hat that I got is really not going to go with this lipstick, so please just ignore that. But I also picked up this cap. Again, I feel like people look really cool in caps, but I've never worn one myself, and I just... I just don't know if I'm a hat girl. Can, like, someone please let me know? But yeah, what I liked about this is that it's got, like, a kind of, I don't know how well you can see it, but it's got this really nice kind of, like, quilted effect on it. And again, I feel like that's going to, like, that's kind of like a bit of an installation for your head. <laughs> Insta did I say installation? Insulation for your head. Like, what do you do with your hair when you wear these? And I also feel like my hair is so thick, I just look like a mushroom. Doesn't help that I've got a red lip on. Can someone, like, send me a video on how to style hats? Because I just, I don't know if I feel right in these or not. I want to get into them, I really do, but I just don't know. I do think this hat is really cool though, so I might have another, like, play around a bit. Maybe try it with my hair up, see what I think. So that's everything that I picked up from Zara. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll make sure to link everything that I showed you down below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.